What about Antoine Griezmann? Is that kind of the best way to sum up his struggles since joining Barcelona? I think it's part of it. I, I think with Griezmann, obviously, there, there are a couple of other elements. And, and we saw in the summer that Griezmann was aware of the fact that perhaps he wasn't the player that some of the senior members of the Barcelona squad wanted. And obviously, by senior members, you tend to think of Messi, Suarez, perhaps Busquets, certainly Gerard Piquet, maybe Jordi Alba. And that he was saying, well, I'm going to have to make up for it uh, on the pitch. I'm not going to do it off the pitch. And yet there's been a lot of talk about the relationship between him and Messi, about the building of a, of, of a kind of a a connection that's not necessarily just about the way that they play. And he said, for example, that you know he's tried to drink mate with Messi and, and Suarez. He said, he admitted that, look, he's not a guy that talks a lot. I'm not a guy that talks a lot. So it's natural that we don't talk a lot. And there's an awareness there, I think, that there is a broader question beyond just the pitch. But then bring it to the pitch. And one of the things, of course, that happens on the pitch is that Antoine Griezmann, it's true, he played on the left-hand side for Real Sociedad about five or six years ago now. But his natural role is either through the middle which is Luis Suarez's position, or coming in off the right, which is Leo Messi's position. And I do think there is fundamentally a question mark there, which isn't necessarily insurmountable because he's a brilliant player and he has brilliant players around him. And if they can find a way of understanding each other, then perhaps it can work. But there is a fundamental basic problem, which is Antoine's Griezmann position is taken. And it's taken by two players who are either better or more entrenched or more important than he is. Let's bring Frank in on Antoine Griezmann here. Uh, Frank, I believe you've mentioned before, you know, Griezmann must serve the king when talking about Messi. How much of a problem is that for Antoine? Well, I don't know. I didn't talk about, about that with Antoine, but I think it's a problem. When he signed, I think he should have thought twice before signing because, because as Sid said, you know, uh, his favorite positions are taken and it's hard for him to show his talent in the, his 100% talent if he's not playing at the, the best position. He has also to, um, to, to, to give everything for the king. And the king is Messi. Uh, Sid was, ta taking, was talking before about one solution and uh, what dependence is, is Messi. But imagine if you had another choice of playing for Valverde with Griezmann. Do you think Messi... Will, will, will have acceptance to, uh, toward that. I'm not sure about that. So it's a complicated situation. I would have been Griezmann never, even if it's a dream, I would have signed for Barcelona because of the situation of the Barcelona, Barcelona FC with the King Messi. It's tricky because you want to play with the best player in the world. You want to play in Barcelona, Barcelona because you want to be successful, but it's hard to be another uh, star where only one star can be a star, is Messi. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.